Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, first of all, um, we um, I show you to open OmniTrend Web with two um, opportunities. Okay. Um, first of all, when you install OmniTrend Web, you have in your uh, Windows some folders. You have the folder OmniTrend Web Tools to administrate the databases and the heap from the Java. And um, uh, a button to start OmniTrend Web. This is the first step, the first um, um, thing to start OmniTrend Web. And the other step is to open OmniTrend Web with OmniTrend Win. When you install the uh, software OmniTrend Win and OmniTrend Web, you can open OmniTrend Web with the database in OmniTrend Win. You have the choice Tools, Reports, and OmniTrend Web. This is your what do you what is better for you to start OmniTrend Web. Okay. Um, when our questions, please um, uh, when our questions, please uh, speak to me and I um, uh, answer the question. <laughs> okay. So now, when you put here the button on the web this program will be open. Okay. Um, first, we have, the first screen is standard report. Standard report is in OmniTrend Web um, basic template from proof technique to create a report in a good style. It's a default template. So, um, but you can edit your template and with pictures, text fields, and, and, and. I think um, in this seminar we create some templates um, which um, elements are in this uh, template available, what is the sequence, which reports are available in OmniTrend Web, and I think this is the best thing to see what is OmniTrend Web and what we can do in this software. And when our question, when our question, please send it to me. Is this okay for you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, when you have opened the OmniTrend Web software, you have here some buttons, some pictures. I'm sorry, I make the software in English. Okay. So, um, first of all, here are some pictures. This is the menu bar. Here you see new. When you click on this, for, uh, this letter, you have to, cho uh, to choice what what should I create? A template, a sequence, or a report? We make a, uh, a template now. Okay. When you click on this button, uh, a white letter will be open. Okay. So this you um, this is for you. Um, when this is your report. Okay. And now you have um, some elements on the right side. We can create, uh, when you have some text in your report, maybe a header, you can create a text element and you can write in, hello, this is maybe a Omnitrend seminar. And this is your header. Maybe you have, or to create a table and the functions are the same from Microsoft Office, both 
italic and uh, underlined and to uh, change your color to to give the report some um, text to understand some things about the report maybe you give your report to a, a technician and uh, he uh, should uh, see the report what is to do okay and then you have the two choice of picture maybe from a machine or a train I don't know you can choose the, the image from the hard disk or a image from the um, Omnitrend database I don't know maybe we can open a gearbox this is only for the report to give the report some um, style okay can we make it okay so um, when we need some measurement uh, sites from the uh, node in the tree okay we can give a uh, diagram element so when I I take this now here okay so now we have a simple report with text element picture and the uh, graph element so okay I need a report over this node maybe this this spectra okay very easy we um, take the spectra we have the report and now the button create a live report when you see okay we have a report created in one minute I don't know so and you have in your report the text field the picture and the graph over this node I think um, it's very when you work with this very easy are there any questions to this to create a simple report in after one um, no, um, actually, I think, um, after one uh, minute are there any questions to this no okay okay this is a report in, in easy steps so now you have um, more elements maybe you um, need the graph from this node and you need the um, the values from this node maybe you have a alarm on five and your value is six you need this, uh, the values maybe then you can create uh, the table element and on mm -hmm. this table um, are the values maybe I can show you so make the report two okay yeah, no table no one this Maybe here. Okay, here. Now we have here values. When you see, okay, on the we have uh, created a report over this measurement uh, node with this um, spectra, velocity, um, and and and. And you have here in your table the date from the value and which values are available to this spectra. Only this um, table is for the spectra and on the next side the spec okay. So um, the next element is uh, events list. When you have events in your database you can list this event on this report too. 
So maybe I, I, I think we have no um, events in the database, but when our events are available, you can show this event in the report menu. You, you should always the event um, element. You give it in your report, and then you can create the live report. Is it too fast or is it okay for you? Okay, so I need to know about the table again. Uh, can we, how do you use the filter it? To fill the, the table in the report? Filter on the table. Ah, okay, the filter on the table. So, um, you have here when you uh, uh, the right click and the properties from the element, you have here this uh, dialog. Maybe um, you can change your settings on the view button. Okay, which columns show date, show frequency, time offset, uh, show time revenge. You have a lot of um, things to edit this to show on your um, report. And font and border, the style from the uh, table, and the filter is the the hardest thing. You can change your um, time period. Okay, which um, values I need? Maybe from two, from beginning to, from and to end. You can um, change your time range. Okay. On the data filter, you can change, okay, what I need. I need uh, all, all um, values, then you can choose auto for as automatic. Or I need always max peak from one, two, four, I don't know. Okay. The data type filter is, okay, which values I need always from the spectra. I don't know, always from offline um, devices or online devices. This is to create your own um, report, then you can change your settings. Okay, uh, which operating states you need always all, or I don't, I don't know, I, I need, okay, I don't know, the spectra. Okay, Okay, and what do you need? The zero peak, 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 or RMS, and the zero peak, and from to, this is for your own settings. Whenever we have um, uh, finished the filter settings, you can choose the OK button. So now, OK, the filters are available, OK, and your filters are in this element now for the report. Is this okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, the next element is an alarm list. This is very cool. Okay, maybe you have a report, uh, a note over, I don't know, 200 notes. Okay, you choose your alarm element, give it in your report letter, I don't know <laughs> what's the name. Okay, so now, which re uh, alarm element is this? Okay, maybe you need alarm list, the last measurement list from the last um, values in the node. Maybe okay, we named it. Or our alarm status list, maybe. Alarm status list is a report I can show you when we make this. You see from the complete tree, every alarm, warning, and um, alarm make this element. Click on live report and you see, okay, maybe I have now all nodes in the report in the tree where is the alarm or a running. It's, I think it's very fast to show okay, here is not good, here is better. 
and now you have the same thing in the uh, in this element. You can choose your font and border. Okay, how's the style from the report uh, from this element? And some filter settings. Okay, time revenge. Data type filter, which only from the spectra. So now when we make this, we have always from the spectra the alarm list. So okay, now on the mo uh, machine 2A motor, it's a warning from 2002 on February the 10th. So I think it's very fast to show in your database um, where's a uh, alarm or a warning. Are there any questions to this element? No? No. Okay, perfect, okay. So now, um, the next element, I think this is in the, for the first time with Omnitrend, but a little bit hard. Uh, when you work with Omnitrend Web, I think when you can um, take a other seminar for not, um, um, Uh, I think this is the, this element is not for the beginners. Um, you need a little bit experience for the next element. And when you have questions, you can write an email or on the next webinar we we'll make this other element. But I think for the first um, training, is these elements are the best thing to see. Okay, what is omnis and web and to work with this. Is it okay for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So now. Um, we have the element. We see the elements from the Omnitrend web. Okay, so now we need to save the report to template. You have to, cho to choose. Okay, maybe you have always a, a graph and a alarm element. So now this is your report. Okay, how can I say? Can you take elements and last measurement? Okay, yes, you can make this, okay. You have the alarm element and you can, the last uh, measurement duration list, okay, you have the choice to view um, which um, columns I need. You have, okay, the train, the train code, maybe, or the value, the alarm level. Okay, and now we create a report and then to show this is the report for your measurement duration report. You have all, all the measurement point, the task, the value, which unit, and, and, and. I think, thanks for this. Can we get rid of this? Yes, I think. When you have here to view, you need the date. Okay, date is here. And the measurement value is the value. I don't know where is it? The value. Value and value minus one. Here. Okay. So report is too big. So now it's time for So now value state. Okay. So now and we create the report. And you have the date, column, the value, the value minus one, and the last. There is no date, one, two. Here. Date. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now this is your report. You need it. 
you said, eight, and the value minus one, value value minus one and eight. And then you can uh, create the report um, when you need maybe the machine, the location ID, and then and you can um, create a report to your own style. What is better for you? And you take the columns, maybe this is your, you can create your own report. What is for you the best to see your uh, values? Okay, so now, is it is this okay for you? Or you have some questions to this? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, to save the report, maybe you have this element, always a graph element. You have here a disk on your menu bar. A save. This is to save the report in your database. So now um, you can choose a name, maybe template from Omnitrend. And to choose a folder, it's this and you choose a folder. Maybe this is your folder style. Um, you can create a new folder, template, I don't know. Now we save the template in this folder. Maybe you um, give some rights for other groups. Maybe you have a group supervisor. You can give this group a uh, right uh, thing. And the technician, I don't know, should always read it. You have some opportunities in the save template. Okay, now we save this. And you have now this um, template saved in your database. When you start on the trend web, um, maybe uh, tomorrow, you can open this template on to in this way. Here you have a folder picture to open maybe a template. You click on this template button. You have the folder templates, and now here's other, uh, our um, template. And now you choose, click OK, and the template is now available. And now you can um, edit this report. So when you say, OK, I need a text element too, You can edit this report, take a text element, edit this, and save this. So now the report is edit, uh, is finished, and it's saved. Okay. So now we have a report created. We have a report saved. And now I show you the report. In Omnitrend Web, we have three report styles. The live report, the live document, and the fixed document. And I think we make it together and to see what is what and what is the style from the report. Okay. Now we have here a graph element. We make a report over this node. So now this is a report. This is a live report. Okay, a live report is um, to create a report from a node and um, get the measurement file from the node for the first uh, for the last time. So now it's live. So now when you start a report. The report will be created. This is a live report when the report um, will be created on the first time. So now you can 
save the report. On the menu bar, you see the uh, line report and uh, button save as. It's the same style from the template. To save the template, you give a name, report, and you give a folder, templates. I don't know, you make a new folder on this folder template, report. Okay. So now you have here some um, report types: a live report, a live document, and a fixed document. Okay. A fixed document is the same than PDF. When we save this report on a fixed uh, report. You can open the fixed document, but you cannot edit this report. This is always a fixed report, then like PDF, you can print this or you can export this to a PDF and to send um, a customer. I don't know. Also, uh, a fixed report is a report to not edit table this. Are there any questions to this report? Okay, so now uh, uh, the next report is, okay, we create a live report, menu bar report, save as, and we, we choose the live document. So now the live document is um, a report, maybe you save a live report to a live document in two weeks you open the live document and the same uh, node. So now you create a live report over this spectrum here. So now you save this and two weeks later you open the live report and you know uh, you maybe you um, you know uh, you don't know um, which node I selected and I create a report. So now you open the live report, a uh, live document, and the nodes are always saved in the live document. And the measurement uh, values are always the newest. This is a live document. You get the newest um, values, but the report style is always the same from the nodes. So now you can edit table this report on this page. Maybe you have here this diagram. You can choose to this um, report on this page a text field. You can edit this report after and create it. You can see here. And then you can Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, I I didn't catch the difference between a live report and live document. The meaning is that live document, when I open it sometime later, there are always most up-to-date uh, data or what? A live document is always a live um, report from the values. When I click here, to the spectra. Okay. And I create a live, doc uh, live report. So now, now we have the last values. This is a, doc, uh, a report from this value. We create a report over the spectra. Uh -huh. Save this report to a live document. And maybe two weeks later, you open the, this live document. Yes. So now um, you don't know which... Um, 
uh, note I selected to create a report. Maybe uh -huh. you have here your uh, selected, but we open the live document. The, uh, um, but the value from uh, the node is on this spectra. The node um, is saved in the report from this uh, uh, on the element from this report. You can open, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can select it this node, but you open the last uh, uh, last document and uh, uh, it the will show me which which node uh, you selected previously. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. So now you can um, edit this report. You can choose a last doc uh, a text element and and and. But the values are always the last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have seen the live report, live document, and fixed document. Are there any questions to this? Okay. No. Okay, now. We have seen the report, uh, the the report, the template, the element, and and, and so now okay. Um, now I show you the sequence. A sequence is to um, make a lot of templates in one report. Maybe you have five templates with five styles. Okay, you can make one report of this template in one um, sequence. Maybe you open a sequence here, your letter, a new sequence, and you have here a plus button. Now your um, folder administration will be open. So now we can choose a lot of um, templates. I don't know. Proof technique, the one craft, proof technique, two craft. So now we have here our template. And we need a report over this spectra. We create a report. So now we have a report in three, uh, in four pages, four templates in one report. And then you can save this. This is a sequence to make one report with a lot of templates. Are there any questions to this? Could you please go through this newly created report? Uh, to create a report with a um, No, no, just, just, just to go through this report again, okay. page by page. So get, show please the report you just created. Okay. And go through this page by page. Okay, I created this report. So now this side. Or? No, I meant uh, please show this report with uh, four templates. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just just show it to me page by page. Okay. So now um, we have a template I can show you. We have this sequence. I don't know. We create a sequence over this template. Now I take this, 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 this. So now, okay. The first page, the one graph, is a page with proof technique um, picture, a graph element, and a text element. You can see, okay? Mm -hmm. The proof technique, the graph, and the text. Yes. Okay. The second is a proof technique picture, a graph, a graph, and a text. Okay? Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. We have a proof technique. Here is your report, but we have no values. But we have the values in uh, the first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your picture and the date. Okay. So now, the third is always. The same, and the last is um, always a, a, a picture. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. You have here. You see your picture. The sequence is 
uh, to make a report over a lot of templates. This is a sequence. Mm -hmm. For example, to have a template of the color page and then some graph and so on, and yes. the template of the conclusion, or I don't know what. Yes. Yes, okay. Perfect. Okay, I think this is, um, this was it, and to, this uh, seminar was always for, to see what is on the trend web, what we can do with this program. Um, when you work with this program, you can send me some email presentations or uh, text, uh, text documents, I don't know. I write now my email address on the, on the field. And when some, when are there some questions, please send me an email and I can help you. So now, are there any questions to the Omnitrend web so, uh, software? I help you and I give the answer. Okay, no questions then. Thank you for listening. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Thank you, Jared. Yes. Thank you for the session. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Okay, have a nice Monday. You too. See you. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. bye. Okay, bye bye.